My name is Maricela MJ Juarez. How long have you been working here at Seymour Duncan? Um, it's going to be 39 years in March. How'd you hear about Seymour? Oh, that was kind of an, an accident. Kind of Seymour Duncan, the way I put it up, Seymour went and knocked on my door. Oh. So I was uh, newlywed with my first baby and my other company wanted to move to North Carolina. And since my whole family was here in California, I said, no, I would rather stay. So I was at home making homemade flour tortillas. And um, my neighbor came over and knocked at my door and she asked me for a ride. I need to go and take this application. Sure. She says, oh, I'm sorry, you're busy. I said, don't worry about it. I can finish them later on. They will be ready for dinner. So the application wasn't totally filled out. So I helped her out to go ahead and finish it. And I put myself as a reference. We didn't know what they will make at Seymour Duncan. If somebody would tell me, you know, Seymour Duncan make pickups, I would say Chevy or Ford. And I mean, but that was it. I didn't know the guitar components or, you know, what the guitar took, you know, I mean, none of that. So I go to Seymour Duncan and they ask her if she wanted to have the interview right there and then. I said, yes, tell her yes. About two, three hours later, I was at home finishing my tortillas again. And then the phone ring and it was John Hall from Seymour Duncan offering me the job. And I laughed and I said, you got the wrong person. I was only the chauffeur. Oh, I know that. Would you like to come and work for us? But I didn't fill out an application, you know. I mean, oh, I know that. Would you like to come and work for us? I said, but I'm not looking for a job. My baby was just a newborn. I said, you know, um, if you would like to come and work for us, give us a call tomorrow. So I called my mom. I said, I got a job offer. And my mom goes, oh, I'm going to babysit the baby. And she was so happy. I said, okay, I need to give this place a try because my mom is happy. So I went to Seymour Duncan and my first thing on the table that they put, I mean, the bobbins were already pre-wound and they said, you're going to make this, they're called pickups and you're going to go ahead and make them this way for a conductor and what is it? And there were 10 sets of Jimmy Page pickups. When I finished those pickups, uh, because they needed to read a certain reading, so I need to be reading a lot of bobbins to get this specific DC that Jimmy used to like back in those days. When I finished them, because they were for an artist, I mean, I need to deliver them to Seymour's office. There was um, a book cabinet right behind Seymour, and hanging from the cabinet was the non batch Jim, said Jimmy Page. So I go back to my table, and they start writing notes because, I mean, I wanted to keep my job. And how am I going to keep my job? Just by writing down notes. So I, I write down, I mean, it was a four conductor wire, which is um, red and green, black and white. So I said salt and pepper, salsa and guacamole. Okay. I'm making my own notes. They were only for me to help me. So I'm making my notes. I said two bobbins, one adjustable and one unadjustable. Okay, the adjustable, I called it senorita, okay? The non-adjustable, because he had the bigger holes, I called it senora. The senora is always on the north side. The senora is always salt and pepper. The senorita is always south side, and the senorita is always, I mean, salsa and guacamole. So I stuck with those things, and that way I would never make mistakes. So when I knew that I was gonna go ahead and, and stay there, I kept and kept and kept on making notes until until today, until a little while ago. I mean, I still taking notes of all the pickups that I do here at Seymour Duncan. <laughs> One of my favorite things might be tuna and hard boiled eggs. Really? Yeah, like a tuna, tuna egg salad, you know. Yeah, I know, I usually, I mean, I hard boiled eggs my, in the morning and then I bring in here and I mix it up here, you know. Crackers? Crackers or bread, either, you know. <laughs> I know everybody was thinking tamales. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I do like to make the tamales. I do like to, but I'm not huge on eating them. I'm not a huge meat eater, you know. So yeah, my mom always making tamale, always making flour tortillas, you know. But to me, to eat the tamales, I do eat them, you know, especially when, I mean, Brad or, or Billy or Stimuler comes in to join them. But not, I'm not a huge, huge fan to eat them myself. I make pretty good ones, I can tell you that. As Brad Paisley and Billy Gibbons and Steve Miller and, and so and so, and even Eddie Van Halen, you know.
A lot of times, the tech knows more than the artist. Mm -hmm. The artist just grabs the guitar and plays, or the artist delivers to, to, the, um, to the tech whatever he wants out of that guitar. In a lot of times, because the connection is so slow, I mean, I get to know the artist, for example, when I was kind of, I mean, doing the Red Devils for Billy Gibbons, you know? I mean, his tech, the person who does the guitars, they said, oh, I want this pickups for Billy. I said, and uh, I and I said, I, want him. I said, wait a minute, but those have a ceramic magnet. He says, yeah, yeah, we want. I said, no, but MJ, for Billy, I said, no, Billy doesn't play that. And, and then, um, he happened to call Billy, and then Billy says, you know, you don't know what you're doing. You let her do the, whatever she does, you know. She knows what I like, you know. I mean, there is there is ways that you get to know the people and you get to know what they use. And if you want to make a pickup and change it, it's according to whatever they played and don't just don't go to the extreme of using an Alnico 2 to kind of send them to ceramic. That's a no-no for Billy, you don't know. No, you don't do that, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The best one, the best one. I mean, Seymour, I mean, oh, Seymour is great pulling cranks on people, okay? I mean, in one day, I said it was April's full day. I called my sister. I said, Irma, you're going to call Seymour only when I text you real quick and you're going to say, you're from a Rolling Stones magazine and they want to do a cover of him on the Rolling Stones magazine. Seymour at his office, you know, working, he said, Seymour, Seymour, come over to the custom shop. It's not, you know, far away. It was just kind of on the other door. MG, MG, I'm waiting for a phone call. This lady keeps on calling me. I said, Seymour, this is quick. Come and check this. This is really quick. As soon as he will leave the office, I mean, uh, I will push text. I had the text ready and my sister will call and leave another message, you know. We really want to talk to you today because, you know, not until he was leaving at the end of the day because we played the whole day. I mean, we said, Seymour, April full day, you know. <laughs> But this is the way we are. We're like a family in here. So not putting cranks, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be us. So so yeah, we love doing that. The Queen Bucker. Why? Because everybody claims that they know how to make the best PAF pickup. And we know that. And we know an old PAF pickup aged according to wherever they were stored. You know, I mean humid has a lot to do i mean the basement the attic the right next to a big speaker right next to an amp right next to that and without saying anymore i believe i have rewound thousands of i mean paf pickups through the 39 years at seymour duncan and keeping notes and taking notes of all of those so i'm not going to say it and i don't want to say it's a paf pickup or 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 is that but it just kind of tells me it's something that I believe is the best combination of the PAFs. That's why I call it the queen backer, because mm -hmm. it took me all these years to go ahead and say, I can make something real close to the PAF. <laughs> we were 16 in our family. We all have friends. They all came over to my house, okay? And the first thing my mom will say is, sit down, what do you want to eat? I mean, it wasn't a restaurant, it was, but I mean, she always kind of, mom, I don't like that. She will make something else for us or she will make different kinds of food because she knew that we all didn't have the same taste buds. So we all, she always tried to please us in that way. And I mean, someone coming in and me like giving Brad Paisley his tamales to take home and then he goes, do I have to wait? until I get home? I said, no, I didn't know you were hungry right now. I'll warm you up more. I have more in there, you know, and, and always have food on my freezer of the stuff that I do to go ahead and make him feel at home. I'm not corporate, not at all. You don't find me corporate. So I'm not gonna treat you like, I'm gonna try to just make business with you. Your friendship, you are more important to me than anything else in the world. And I'm talking about Billy, Steve, I mean, Joe Smith or Juan Perez or, you know, or Bob, you know, whoever you are. To me, I mean, the relationship between people is what makes a better world and, you know, and that's what I'm for. I mean, knowing you, I mean, at that time, I was totally in love, you know, and who wasn't in love with Peter Frampton? 